Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to do a reading for those of you who are still um, emotionally connected to an ex of yours. So you could still be going through like a mourning or grieving process from someone you have experienced a breakup, a separation, or divorce from. And I was guided to do this particular reading. Um, and before we get into the actual messages, I do want to invite you all to book your personal private session with me through your my website, www.divinebodistarot.com. You can find the link to my website below this video. Um, also, I would like to invite you all to take advantage of the promotions that I offer, um, as well as to go to my other social media accounts and follow those. Um, I post different readings, messages, and promotions on those as well too. And you can find the information for the social media accounts below this video. Alright, so yeah, I was guided to do a reading for um, those of you who are still haven't fully um, healed or grieved or mourned um, a separation, a breakup, or a divorce. And it was very surprising to me to be guided to do this type of reading um, first because I normally do just try to focus on um, new love coming in just because that's my personal preference. But I was guided that this is the type of reading that I need to do to um, include this readings moving forward for right now. So I am obliging that request um, that I have been instructed to do. So we're going to go ahead and get into the reading. So the first question we're going to take a look at for those of you who are um, still grieving the emotional connection that you have to an ex. Okay. Um, we're going to take a look at is this individual in a relationship? All right. So I do feel like this individual is in a relationship. I heard yes right away when I was um, drawing the cards for this question. Yes, this individual is in a relationship. I feel like for a lot of you, this individual moved on very quickly. They got in this relationship very quickly. For um, some of you, um, the energy is showing that the person who this individual got with could be someone who this individual worked with. This could be an associate of this individual's um, at the workplace. I also feel as well too, um, for some of you, this is giving me the indication that whoever um, your ex was dealing with, they had been dealing with them the entire time while they were, well, I would say either the entire time or they were dealing with them for a great deal of time while they were in the relationship with you. So this is why this, um, for those of you who are aware that this person is in a relationship, this may have been shocking to you that this person moved on so quickly or that they were in a relationship so quickly, so fast, but that's because for some of you, this person was already maintaining and investing in this relationship, okay? Um, so this person definitely was like, uh, juggling you and this individual, and it could have been multiple other individuals as well too, but this, whoever this person is with, they definitely was investing a significant amount of time with this individual. Okay. Now I also feel like as well too, some of the messages coming out in regards to the connection that your ex is currently in is that, um, the reason why this person attracted or is in a relationship with this individual that they're with is, um, it's karma for them. Because I feel like um, this person was a manipulator and was a player um, for some of you and just um, a user, okay? A manipulator, a player, and a user. So I also feel like um, this individual, your ex, is going through like karma and the relationship with the person they're with is not all roses and, you know, marshmallows and things of that nature. Um, I do feel like... I don't want to say that your exes met their match, but I definitely feel like they have met someone who's given them a run for their money. So it's not as um, sweet, okay? Um, it's, it's not sweet over there. So you're not like, you're not missing out on anything if that's what you're feeling, okay? Like there's a lot of um, crap. <laughs> that your ex is dealing with um, and going through dealing with this particular individual, okay? And I just feel like the two of them together, it's just um, a recipe for just destruction and disaster. But like I said, once again, I feel like this is karma. 
that your ex is having to deal with. I feel like they are each other's karma, put it like that. Now, as far as does this ex miss you, I do have, yes, this ex does miss you, but it's more like superficial reasons. So say for instance, you were the provider in the relationship. This individual misses the fact that, you know, getting an allowance or getting taken on trips or you buying them food or you buying them clothes or gifts or giving them money. Um, you could have been very like doting, very, um, when it, when it came to like your finances on this individual. Now for others of you where you weren't the provider, they could miss like the practical things that you did for them, like cleaning up the house for them, preparing food for them, um, ironing their clothes. I feel like they miss the fact of having someone who's actually loyal, devoted, committed, dedicated, or like I said, someone who is the financial provider and nurturer in the relationship. So like I said, once again, yes, this person does miss you, but it's more so like out of the superficial necessity of needing to have someone in their life that they no longer have access to. So essentially the things that they were able to take advantage of from you, this is the thing that they miss about you. So I, there's no like energy of like love that I'm getting or like an emotional loss like some of you may be feeling or grieving from this individual it's more a sense of financially um or just materially or like i said services that 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 you may have done for this person or just the sense of you being like i said very loyal and dedicated to this individual knowing that they had someone who was stable secure you were there when they came home you know you were always um they could always rely on you, okay, even if they effed up, even if they cheated several times, um, even if they disrespected you, it's like this person knew that you were always there, like you were reliable, and they missed that, because, like I said, the energy of karma's coming up again, so they're definitely come full circle with someone who doesn't do all those things, okay, now when it comes to what, um, is blocking you from this connection and what caused the connection to come to an end i feel like whoever you were dealing with this person is coming up in very egotistical energy so this this person could be very egotistical they could be very arrogant very cocky um this person could be like a showman is what i'm getting like they like to get a lot of attention um this person could be very domineering and selfish controlling um and then i'm also getting like they could they got like a pompous energy and they could be very vain so i feel like what could have caused this connection to end was the fact that th it may have got to a point where this individual just thought that they were like better than you they also may have thought like you didn't like match their fly or their swag or you know you were not someone who was like you didn't pass the eye test or something like that like you weren't worthy to like walk besides them or or be with them they kind of almost look at you as if they're better than you okay like you're beneath them or like you're a peasant or something like that or you don't meet the type of ideal type of um person that they would want to have on their arm so it's like i said once again like with that showman type of energy um they they felt like you 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 didn't have certain traits physically okay aesthetically that matches i guess whatever type of perfect ideal image of someone who they would want to show off like a trophy arm piece type of partner okay and then the other fact is like yeah this person has a lot of like narcissistic type of characteristic traits about them so this is someone who is very selfish and they want everything to revolve around them and be all about them so i feel like that was what was harming the relationship and then that's also what caused the relationship to end okay now when it comes to will this individual return to you i am getting a yes um this individual will return to you but i do not foresee this individual returning to you coming correct until it's been a very significant amount of time and this person has done a significant amount of maturing and growing up so i'm getting about maybe 10 years um, that this person would probably be in a better space and be more mature, um, reliable and like settled down and ready to actually commit that this individual will like come back to you 
sincere and genuinely wanting to settle down so i'm getting the energy where it's like you go off and live your life this person goes off and live their life if you were open to it and the two of you came back together it seemed like it would be a situation maybe where there would be a blending of families but i see the both of you kind of being like established in your own selves like i said this person needs to go through some maturing and i'm seeing a lot of karma type of saturn energy around this person so this person needs to learn how to grow up they need to learn how to mature they need to learn how to um settle down and i i feel like if that's what you're looking for they're not in that energy right now so i, I would foresee so i would foresee the two of you getting reconnected once the two of you like i said have established yourselves and you may reconnect like once you have accomplished a lot they uh and this ex of yours has accomplished a lot and the two of you may have went off lived your own lives did your own things and then you may you know um, this individual come back i feel like now as far as uh, the potential outcome for a reconciliation i do see the potential outcome for a reconciliation i do feel this ex is going to try to reconcile in the near future like i said in the previous card that i was reading about this person is not going to be settled or more mature or ready to um intentionally be in a relationship until this person does a lot of growing and they go through a lot of lessons this person has a lot of maturing to do and i feel like this is not just going to happen like in a year or in a short period of time so um potentially in the near future this individual may come back to you and they may try to reconcile but i feel this individual is only going to end up doing the same antics that they've done before i feel this individual is going to ghost you and if you take this person back it's going to be essentially like you not learning some karmic karma lesson and going you know just putting yourself in some type of karmic energy with this individual and it's only just going to continue to um bring more karma to this ex of yours okay is what i'm seeing but i do feel like if you were open to it and it's like i said further down the line potentially like 10 years from now or so something like that i feel like um the two of you would be in a more mature type of energy um and settled energy and uh able to um have a have a, a, a family that you know you could um really grow and establish the type of secure foundation in that family at that time moving forward but i i just feel like now um, i'm not just picking that energy up from this particular individual as being like mature enough they're, they're just not okay so i hope that was helpful for those of you who are still going through some um grieving um for the individual who you have had a breakup a separation or divorce from i just want to send you um, just healing energy right now you know what I'm saying and for healing energy for you to you know just love on yourself and um, just focus on you know just realizing that it's okay for you to um, grieve um, but also know that um, at a certain point in time you do need to make the decision to you know focus on yourself and just do the work um internally so you can be the best version of yourself that way you can uh, feel very confident knowing that things happen um for certain reasons and for you to be able to look back and eventually realize you know um that you are going to be able to get past this and move forward in your life and that it's okay for you to to move on it's okay for this individual to move on it's okay for you to move on it's okay for people to move on from each other that's a part of life and just sending you energy of healing and acceptance of you know being able to move forward in your life okay but besides that if you would like to book your own personal session with me you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com and be blessed.